hello friends happy episode three of building a happy life <laughs> this is quite a way to start the episode because this week i wanted to focus on sleep and last night i got two and a half hours sleep which is simply not enough trying to avoid preaching about the science-based things because i know it's slightly different for everybody but there are a few things i have generally observed about myself that i know help my sleep and i did also listen to this podcast which was very entertaining and funny and also really kind of hard hitting with the facts. Some of the things I'll be doing this week, I'm not going to be having caffeine. I'll be switching to decaf, which I'm perfectly happy with. And then another piece is obviously the screen time was definitely helping last week. So I will continue with that. No screen time before bed. And then the working out has been helping and just sort of having that set wind down time before bed and reading my book like page book rather than a kindle book has been very helpful before bed so I'll keep doing that and yeah we'll see how it goes I don't have much to say right now I'm not very functional because I had two and a half hours sleep but <laughs> well let's get into it it'll be like a vloggy vloggy video I know I chatted a lot I was just editing episode one with the workout and I was chatting so much <laughs> that I'm I'll keep touching base, but I'll also sort of just showcase my bits throughout the day. Yeah, I'm working right now from home, obviously. I was not making it into the office today. I wanted to go in, but I simply couldn't. So, yep, let's get into it. <laughs> I had a nap after work for about an hour and a half, which I needed, and then went for a walk with my dad, had some pizza, did some crocheting, and now I'm just going to charge my Apple Watch because I'm trying to track my sleep on there. My goal is about seven hours a night or more. Now I think I'll probably read on my Kindle for a bit, and then I'll read on my book book for a bit. On my Kindle I'm reading Love Small Town Romance, and I'm still trying to finish off Braid Blaker, so... Braid... Braid Blaker? Blade Breaker. <laughs> so that'll be the plans for the e for this evening. Everything's ready to go for work tomorrow. I'm absolutely knackered. So. <laughs> Okay, I just got home from work and before I dig into like this whole video and like what it's actually supposed to be about, I just wanted to show you my outfit because I felt so cute today. And I'll probably get into comfy clothes because I'm about to go walk the dog, but I've got the Marc Jacobs vintage jacket that I showed you guys in a previous vlog. I've got this secondhand cashmere jumper from Ralph Lauren, which was from Vestia. I've got some Banana Republic like pants on and then some cute shoes but i just wanted to show you because i felt so cute and i look like an actual slender man monster right now but just how cute but yeah that was my outfit today i felt very 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 confident um and a good day at work Obviously didn't get as much sleep as I wanted to last night, but that's okay. And now I am going to take the dog for a walk. Still bright out that daylight savings. Also that was, this is an apt time to do this video because we just had daylight savings. So it's like, had a great sleep routine last week. Daylight savings hit, down the drain. <laughs> but yeah, gonna take the dog for a walk. And then probably read some of my book. I did not finish it last night. I ended up reading my Kindle book instead, which I wouldn't shouldn't have done and that probably didn't help with sleeping and yeah i think tina might come over later we'll see i just felt so classy today so classy classy and confident okay let's let's get on with the evening <laughs> Yeah. 
Okay, it's like 10 p.m. We can't finish that movie. Now the plan is no more screen time. I did my exercise, kind of feeding off the last two weeks, so I did some exercise today. No more screen time. I didn't have any caffeine today. We are entering into unwinding mode. And I won't get seven hours because my alarm goes off at 5.13, it's already 10, so. But I'm aiming for like a good quality night's rest that I'll feel well rested when I get up, even if it is a little bit shorter than I'm going for. I can kind of help with that routine piece of set bedtime. Even if it is a bit late, but then a set wake up time always helps me. I didn't nap today. I'm dozy, but I'm not like super tired, which doesn't bode well, but we'll see how it goes. I haven't really filmed much today because it's been so busy, but hopefully for the rest of the week, for the end of the week and weekend, I can really kind of talk it through with you guys. But right now, <laughs> I'm not, and I haven't, but we'll see. We'll keep you updated on the stats tomorrow. Hello. Um, I realise I really have not filmed anything for this video so far, or at least not gone into depth with everything. Basically, my goal this week was is to get seven hours of sleep a night. That hasn't happened thus far and it is Thursday, but I don't think it's also been a particularly easy one for me to prioritize this week. So maybe it does need a, like another week to settle into it. And I think the time change has also messed up the whole, whoa, whole rhythm. But <laughs> the goal has been seven hours of sleep and I haven't even gotten that once. But the end of last week, mwah, I was doing so well, but I think a few things, maybe this is more of a what not to do, but a few things have contributed to that, and that's, some of them are easy fixes, so we'll see how that can go, but one of them has been, like, I just haven't been going into bed early, which I usually do, I've been staying up later than I usually do for a variety of different reasons, I have I haven't been taking my supplements and my supplements always help I started taking that ashwagandha last week and I have like again my sleep was perfect and I need to start taking that again but I'm also really struggling to like find a way to have it without making me want to throw up it's disgusting um, so maybe I'll just get some pills of that once I finish this bottle um, I've been reading on my phone instead of on books because I have Kindle Unlimited and it's cheaper so I've just been doing that which has been nice but I think I need to figure out how to kind of switch between those like maybe I'll read Kindle during the daytime in the evening and then once it's like time to go to bed I read my book book but I also get really into my books on my Kindle so then I don't want to read my book book I think those are kind of the main bits that are getting in the way, which is fair. And I've also had quite a busy week at work, which I feel like I'm always saying at the moment. <laughs> I think I'll probably always say it anyways, but um, just sort of being able to switch off has been harder and I haven't been journaling. So yeah, I think I've just kind of, I've had a good week. I've had lots of nice moments with my family, with Keenan, with reading lots and getting bits done and being productive, but oh my gosh, I just have not been able to sleep as much as I would like. So we'll see how this evening goes and tomorrow morning I'm actually very excited because my friend Kelly, I think you would have seen her in a previous video, she owns the Unapologetic Boutique, so she I bought that jumper off of her and she sort of talked about the business a bit. She's amazing, one of my best friends, but she, her family owns a ranch. So I'm gonna go and help out in the morning. She's doing some feeding, which I don't actually know what that means yet, but I think it has to do with little baby calves. So <laughs> I'm just gonna join her for the morning tomorrow. So I'm very excited about that. I, yeah, I'm very excited. Never done anything like it. Never really been exposed to the ranches, the outdoorsy sort of lifestyles, so 
I'm very much looking forward to that. I've got my rubber boots already. She told me to wear some thick jeans and we'll go from there. But yes, I'm so excited for that tomorrow. And so I think this video is going to be a sort of like what not to do if you want to sleep well and a vlog as always. But I just thought I haven't really sat down and chatted to the video or to the vlog so far this week. So <laughs> might not be as um, formatted as the previous videos in this series, but we'll we'll see. Anyways, we'll keep going. This was my little midweek mid video check in. So hello. It is about 20 past seven. I'm getting ready to head out with Kevin. I fell asleep at 5.40 p.m. last night. Um, so I've had some breakfast this morning. Don't usually have breakfast and I've packed some snacks. I'm not bringing like any of my like nice bags or anything. So I'm just chucked it in this Hunter this drawstring bag. Um, I've got lots of denim because <laughs> This sounds obvious as soon as I say it out loud, and lots of people probably knew this. I didn't, but um, Kelly told me to wear denim because, or like thick denim, because of all the hay and the fur can get quite itchy. So that's why the Western standard in like farming, people wear a lot of jeans. <laughs> like obviously got like the Canadian tuxedo going on, um, but yeah, I didn't know that. And it's supposed to be kind of cold, kind of warm, so I've got. My underlayer, very thick hoodie. This is the thickest hoodie I own and I don't usually wear it because it's almost too hot. And then just like a fleece lined denim. Got my, my wellies on and I'm very excited. I'm very nervous, but there's gonna be like a few baby calves and we're just gonna do some feeding. I have no idea what it's gonna look like. So I don't really wanna talk about what I think it is because I'll be embarrassed when I get back. Nothing I've ever experienced before. I've never really been around like the big kind of farm animals. And it just looks like I know how much, much joy it brings Kelly. And it seems like the sort of thing where it's like, you just seem very mindful and you're very present. So I just thought it'd be fun. And I asked her if I could tag along last year just before winter hit. So it wasn't really a good time. But now that it's sort of spring, maybe I can get out with her a few times and help out. I don't know. I'm looking forward to it might come back and be like, wow, that was the worst experience ever, but I'm not anticipating that. Um, yeah, let's get a wriggle. spent the morning outdoors, then came home, read on my Kindle, went for a walk with my dad, had a shepherd's pie dinner with the family, and then watched a movie with my mum and dad. It was like my ideal day. It was so lovely. So very pleased by that. I feel like I should mention that my sleep this week has probably been impacted because my sugars have been a bit all over the place like they're going low quite a lot which does impact my sleep so I have a feeling I can kind of feel my blood sugar dropping <laughs> so feeling tonight won't be great either but I'm meeting some friends for brunch tomorrow morning and yeah we will see how the sleep goes it's about 11 p.m right now so it's not looking good but say lovey this might be a bit of a a week of bad sleep despite trying to prioritize it and maybe that's one of those pieces in this series it's just sort of like yeah you know what it's not gonna be perfect and I can still prioritize it and it can still not turn out the way I want and that's 
unfortunate, but it's okay. And the whole point is not for it to be perfect, right? Just a bit annoying. A bit annoying. But either way, I'm going to have a bit of a snack and then try and get to sleep. We'll see what the stats look like tomorrow morning. film very much today but we went out for brunch I then got a very bad tummy ache and then we went back to Keenan's <laughs> and chilled in the sunshine and we're very lazy and now we're home but I'm hoping we'll we can listen to music too oh yeah we did we stopped to listen to music I felt like a teenager it was nice we didn't even make out in the backseat. We didn't. I'll check in again tomorrow. <laughs> Today I felt very anxious, um, and I thought I should note it because this is all supposed to be imperfect, right? That's the whole point, it's habit building and they don't go well, right? They don't go well all the time. And this was a harder habit this week. This was really challenging due to a multitude of external factors. I feel like the other things that I'd done so far were very much like within my control, <laughs> this one felt less so. And that's that's okay, all I can do is my best. Um, I didn't brush my hair today, so it looks a bit like a disaster. But we did go to the farmer's market. Today was actually a really lovely day, despite me feeling anxious. Um, and it was beautiful out, it's like fully spring now. However, it's supposed to go down to minus 20 in snow again by Wednesday, so spring not good for the, the growing season but we went to the farmer's market and I got some lovely earrings so there's these ones and it was just I don't even it doesn't have a yeah there's no name on it but it's just this woman who makes them herself so there's these ones got these ones and then these fun butterfly ones so far the the small bit goes on the front and then it clips on the back but I thought they were really cute so I got those today I also bought a new SSD for all my filming pieces because my 2 terabyte one I'd used up apparently by in like 6 months so then I got the new one I moved all of the stuff over and it had like 1.4 terabytes free on the new one and then the old one had 1.9 terabytes now that I'd moved everything over and I was like the math is not mathing, so that was really expensive as well, and I really didn't need it apparently, but it just, nothing was saving, because it said it only had like 10 gigs left free. I'm guessing it lied to me, but now I'll save myself a bunch of money when I do need it. <laughs> so, here's what it is. Me and my mum went for a nice walk around Golden Hour, it's beautiful. And then I just watched Damsel with my mum and dad. But yeah. I feel like this week has been less of a focus on habit building because it was a bit more out of my control. It was still good, it was more of a vlog kind of week I guess. 
for you guys, but you're welcome. I'm not actually sure what I'm going to do for the next one. I'm feeling very, yeah, a bit anxious and down today, so my creative brain isn't there, but I'm sure next week you'll find out. So far I don't know, but we'll see how it goes. Yeah, I was very much out of my routine this week. I still did some movement, not really as much as I would have wanted, and screen time was still down, so that's good. Those ones are still kind of sticking, or they're, they're improving, so that was nice. Sleep, we're going to keep plugging away at it. It's all about building it, stacking it, doing my best, <laughs> and hoping it will pay off. So, this is a very long outro. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, um, you know, the drill, the awkward. Go like, subscribe, comment, but um, and I'll see you next week.